Okay, when you get into Adobe Express, it's going to look like this. The first thing you'll do is go to the plus button. And once you're here, you'll go to upload media. Uh, your photos are probably in your downloads, so make sure that you go to your downloads. And if you have an iPhone, most likely your photos have been taken as an HEIC. So you're going to need to convert those, which um, I would say watch a different video for that. I'm not going to do that picture though. I'm going to choose this one and I will say open. So your the, the, the program is going to try to process your photo and show you a bunch of templates that can be made. You're going to ignore all of this and you're just going to go to original aspect ratio. Once you do that, you're going to see all this stuff and it's really confusing. Here's my advice. Click on your photo. When you click on your photo, it gives you the photo editing um, properties. So just always, when you start to feel lost, click on your photo and it'll take you back to this screen. The first thing you want to do is crop your photo. It's amazing to me how many people don't crop their photos. So I'm not really worried about the ratio or anything like that for this. So I'm just going to crop, crop out any unnecessary information. So that's the first thing you should always do with every photo is crop it. Second, you can do these cool fancy templates if you want. I'm just keeping it basic. So once I have uh, have the cropping that I like, I'll push return. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to enlarge it to fit the page size. If it doesn't fit perfectly, that's okay. My next step is to click on the photo again because that again brings me back to photo editing and I'm going to make my adjustments. So this is a really old scanned photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen it up. Now these are the same adjustments that you guys have on your phones. So you've seen them before. Just do what you're used to doing, which is playing with these sliders until it looks good. So make sure that you have like that sense of pure white, pure black, and a range of new like grays or middle colors. So I feel like that looks pretty good. I don't think I want to increase the saturation. Um, it's always dicey with skin tones when it comes to saturation, so just be careful. And I think that is good. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to push this back arrow to get out of adjustments. My next step, um, guys, I don't click animation unless you want to dive into the world of animation. So if you're feeling like really crazy and you want to do something hard and challenging, go to animation. Otherwise, skip it. We're also going to skip effects. So right now, the one thing that we are going to do is, you know what, I'm going to start by removing my background. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to remove an object. So I don't want everybody to know when this photo was taken. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this brush, which I can make bigger if I want. I'll do that later. And so I've brushed over this area. It turns it purple. And then I'll click remove. So what Adobe always does is it gives you three options for um, it. Basically, it's like generating uh, AI results and it's going to give me three options. So this is option one, option two, and I'm looking here at the legs and option three. All three of them look pretty good. <coughs> I think I'll take I'll take option three. All right. And so I'll say keep. And now, of course, I click back on my Oh, no, wait. What do I do? I'm going to close that. <laughs> and now I'm back in the editing part of the photo. So let's say I want to like change an object up. Like maybe I don't want this lamp. I'll say insert object. And what I'm going to say is what do I want instead of a lamp? I would like uh, a cat, an orange cat wearing a party hat. I don't know. I mean, get crazy, you know? It's AI, so let's see what it can do. AI isn't going to do anything inappropriate or, or vulgar or dangerous. So um, if you put that into your search, it's not going to work. The more specific your search is, the better results you get. So I'm going to say insert. So let's see what I get. So again, Photoshop, or I'm sorry, Adobe Express is going to give me three different results, and I can choose my favorite of the three. Okay, there's number one, there's number two, and oh, definitely number three. Number three is a winner tonight. Okay, so we're going to say keep and close that. Um, if I wanted to erase something, I could. I'll just show you. When I erase, what it does is it makes it transparent. So, for example, if I like erase our heads, 
now they're they're literally gone and that's a transparent background so um, this is very handy if you need something that's transparent but for this specific project you may not erase anything I am going to remove the background though so I'm going to just click, click remove background this is such a handy tool because there's always reasons to remove backgrounds on images and so now you can see I've got our background removed so I think this is where you know, I'm going to slide us over and I'm going to get a little bit snazzy and I'm going to go into elements and I am going to put this was actually at a Halloween dance but we're going to turn the season to Christmas so we're going to put snowscape background and notice that there's actually things that say backgrounds so if you click on a background it's automatically going to go to the back of the image if I don't click on a background and I click like here it's going to go I have to click it and drag it over the top of my image now if you do that wrong you end up erasing your image and I'll show you what I mean so right now you can see that this snowscape is in front of us but I don't want it in front of us so if I look over here you can see my layers I can grab this layer and I can drag it to the back now this one I don't know why that's there but it is okay so now I could make this my background actually I don't think I want that my background but I could make it my background if I wanted it to I'm gonna go ahead and see what they have to offer ooh I like this kind of cartoony look it makes us I don't know <laughs> it feel it feels right no that one does okay so I have my cartoony background again that went straight to the background my back layer because it's called the background for my next element I am gonna just say I want a snowman now if let's say I want like hmm this snowman but I need okay but I don't want it to take over the background actually that's not gonna work let's say I want this snowman so now I can dictate whether or not I want it in the front or the back you just got to be careful with which layer you're clicking on so I'm gonna put the snowman right between these two that looks adorable and then my final step is gonna be an overlay so I'm back in elements don't click um, media it's it's kind of a whole nother ball of wax and I'm gonna say snow overlay so again the backgrounds do show up don't click those you can't see the snow overlay because it's white on white but if I click it and I drag it over here you can see that it drops snow now the reason we got erased is because <laughs> I clicked it right on top of our image so I always seem to do this wrong if you just click on it it'll drop over here um, I double clicked which is why it showed up twice so now I have my snow overlay I can't say that I love it taking over so much of our faces so I'm just gonna drag it up so it's a little more subtle now I'm wondering oh yes guess what I can do I can reduce my opacity so I'm gonna take that opacity down so maybe it's not oh my gosh I have the best idea I'm gonna put this one in front of us I'm gonna go back to elements I'm gonna add another snowy background and I'm gonna add it behind us because I do want extra snow I feel like just wouldn't seem right if I didn't have more snow so I'm gonna put this snow here and I accidentally layered them incorrectly so now I have my big um, more heavy-duty snow on that second to background layer my light snow on the top layer and we are at a winter formal this is what we're gonna look like when we're 80 years old I presume hopefully we look that good all right when you're finished you guys what you're gonna do is you are going to click this button right here this is the download button so you're gonna click download now you either want to save it as a PNG or a JPEG it doesn't matter to me you choose your favorite so I'll say PNG and download and <clears throat> it's always best to see where you're downloading things so this will go in my downloads I don't know if I want it there I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna say my initials and then I will say Adobe Express and that's how I'd like you guys to title things and you're done good luck